Sudan's army chief lands in Qatar as part of a regional tour. Analysts weigh in on reports of Qatari mediation between the U.S. and Venezuela. Australia cites the strip search incident at Doha airport as a factor to reject extra Qatar Airways flights. And in sports, Qatar defeats South Korea in the under-23 Asian Cup qualifiers. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching the Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Sudan's top general, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, landed in Doha on Thursday as part of a multi-country tour. The chairman of the ruling sovereign council was welcomed by Minister of State and the Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Mohammed bin Abdul Aziz bin Saleh Al Khalifi, as well as other top officials. This is the official's first trip to the Gulf region since the war broke out between the military and the rapid support forces in April. The months long conflict has devastated Khartoum and other major cities around the country, leading to an estimated death toll of 4,000 people. Reports of an alleged secret meeting that brought together the United States and Venezuela in Qatar has raised speculation on yet another major mediating role by the seasoned Gulf power broker. Analysts who spoke to Doha News said Qatar's ability to remain neutral amid tensions between Washington and Caracas makes it well-placed to mediate. Check out our website for more analysis. And now, in yet another shocking twist to the ongoing saga surrounding Australia's aviation industry, the Australian government revealed that a strip search incident involving women at Qatar's main airport in 2020 had played a pivotal role in its recent decision to restrict Qatar Airways from increasing its flight's operations. Australia's Transport Minister Catherine King made the admission in comments during a press conference on Thursday. However, it comes six weeks after she initially denied any connection between the two incidents. In response, the opposition leader has raised concerns about King's statements and is demanding clarity. He said, quote, Maybe she's forgotten what the truth is. She's told so many versions. The fact is, we're not getting an honest answer out of the government. And finally, Qatar's young footballers defeated South Korea Korea 2-0. The match on Wednesday was part of the AFC Under-23 Asian Cup qualifiers in South Korea. The Qatari squad joined the competition as an automatically eligible team due to its role as host of the upcoming tournament. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.